Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about the differences between regular microphone cable and DMX cable. Check it out. Now here we have the two cables in question. We have a microphone cable and a DMX cable. Now before we start talking about what makes these cables different, let's look at what makes them the same. Well, just by looking at them, you can see they're both black. Now, I don't think that makes much of a difference. I've seen pink microphone cables, but they are indeed both black. Now they both have end connectors on them. Let's have a closer look. Here is the end connector for our microphone cable. If you take a look, one side has a female receptacle, three holes. The other side has a male receptacle with three pens. Now here's our DMX cable. Let's have a look at these ends. Looky there. You've got a three hole female and a three pin male, just like on the microphone cable. So maybe it has something to do with what's going on inside of this cable. So I've taken the liberty of tearing some cables apart. Let's have a look. First of all, let's take a look at our microphone cable. This is what it looks like when you peel away the casing of the uh, female receptacle on that. You can see, maybe you can see, I hope you can see, you have a red wire, a blue wire, and a bare wire. So you've got three wires in here. Two insulated, one bare. Now, let's take a look at our DMX cable. Same thing, we've peeled away the casing, and looky there. The colors are different, but we have a white cable, a black cable, and a bare cable. Now this one's not copper colored, this one is silver colored. But you do indeed have three cables connecting to your end. So that's kind of the same. So you know maybe these cables from the naked eye you couldn't tell but maybe they're different sizes. So let's have a look at that possibility. I've got a light here, it's the American DJ Revo Scan LED. I'll prop it up here, hopefully you can see it. Now the first thing I want to do is just make sure that this DMX cable does indeed fit in the DMX input and output. So, that fits, and that fits too. We figured that much. Now let's see what happens with the microphone cable. Okay, that fits. And that fits too. Well, now we know how these cables are similar, let's look at how they're different. But before we even get into that, take a look at this. Let's zoom in on a microphone cable. There's some lettering on the cable itself. Let's see what some of that lettering says. Now let's zoom in on a DMX cable. That's our difference. Well, we looked at the cables by just kind of pulling back the end connector to take a look at them. Let's have a closer look though. Here I have sacrificed one of my microphone cables for this purpose. Have a real close look at what's going on here. Now you see you've got some stringy bits sticking out of the top. That's actually uh, kind of like a string. And then there's some copper looking stuff. This is a wire. Part of the shielding of these two wires. And I believe it also works as a ground. Now notice this is copper wire and it's wound around the stringy bits and the wires. And out of the top of course we have a yellow wire and a red wire. Now let's have a look at a DMX cable. That looks a little different. Now you still have the stringy bits, you still have two wires poking out of the top. One is white, one is black, but that part really doesn't matter so much. Take a look at the shielding. This is braided much like you might see on a transparent USB cable, just like a data cable. I'm not going to stand here and pretend to know much of anything about audio and data cables. This is just what I've learned recently and I'm just trying to share it with you. What I can tell you is, is that an audio cable is designed to carry a much stronger electrical signal than a data cable is designed to carry. A data cable isn't designed to carry a strong signal, it's designed to carry an accurate signal. And for this reason, it needs a lot of shielding. And that's what that braided foily stuff was all about that you saw all kind of wrapped around, 
you know, those stringy bits and those wires sticking out on the data cable. Needs good shielding. Why? Because you don't want interference with the data cable. With microphone cables, when we use them for DMX, they work, you know, and as long as you don't have interference, you know, they'll get you by. But you might notice your scanners kind of shake sometimes a little bit when you're programming them. This probably wouldn't happen if you were using proper DMX cables. In fact, give it a try. Get yourself a DMX cable and see if that shaking clears up. Most of the time, it'll clear right up. Your problem was your cables. Now, what can happen is you can get really bad interference into a microphone cable. It goes to your DMX light and you can screw up the chip in your light. You can definitely damage your light using the wrong cables if you get bad interference. There's an impedance difference going on here too. An audio cable's impedance is 70 ohms, or a data cable's impedance is between 110 and 120 ohms, which would explain the current difference as well. Now, let's look at some cable. Where do you get this DMX cable? I don't know. I went to uh, one of the big box retailers and couldn't even find any. Well, it's out there, and I've got some cable I want to show you today. Here's an affordable cabling solution for a lot of us DJs. This is Accu cable. Now right here I've got one of their 25 foot extension cords as you can see it's black in color and at the end instead of only being able to plug one thing in you can plug three. Now if you had a black trussing system this could run right up the side of your truss and be pretty inconspicuous. Now they also make silver just in case you guys are running silver trussing or chrome trussing. This is going to blend a lot nicer than those bright orange extension cords that a lot of us have been using for many years. Now, AccuCable also makes, of course, DMX cables, which is why we're here today. This is a 5-foot length of DMX cable, but you can buy it in several different lengths. I also have a 50-foot length right here, but you can get it in 25 feet. I think they have 12-foot, several different lengths available. Now, let's say that you are doing a custom club installation, or you just have the biggest light show in town, and you're going to need a lot of custom cabling lengths. What do you do? Maybe you need some 2 foot lengths, and maybe you need some 150 foot lengths. Well here, check this out. You buy yourself a spool of DMX Accu cable. This is a 300 foot spool. Now they also sell the male and female end connectors for DMX. Just for fun, let's put together a cable. Take them to the wire! to the wire now there are more differences between microphone cable and DMX cable than we've talked about in this video but I hope I've shown you some differences and made some of you realize that you really need to get some DMX cable because you might damage your lights. There is a difference. So that's my video. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'm sure other people will chime in on this video who know a lot more about this than I do. And please do, practice and enjoy.